Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Chocolat One. My name is Beth Hitchcock. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And I usually come on live about 3.30, um, but I have some things I have to do this afternoon. So, and I missed yesterday because of the um, <clears throat> um, Live, Launch, Love um, special we had with Chalk Couture releasing the new summer um, catalog details and all the beautiful new transfers that are coming out and um, surfaces that are coming out and also pretty exciting a reduction in the price of some of the surfaces so be on the lookout for that I did list that in my uh, Facebook page business page the link to that catalog so if you haven't had a chance take a look at that you're gonna be really excited I know I am um, so today we have a fun project. Oh, let me put my comments on. I always forget. If you are watching, I would love it if you would say hello and so I can welcome you and answer any questions that you might have. So keep that in mind. I know I didn't even um, put a post up that I was going live today. So this is one of our simple shapes. Got a little paint on the back of that, but it comes this white color. Um, a kind of a, a wood look and what I've done is I've um, I added some um, gray and some black chalk paint dried that put another layer on and then I wanted a little bit I wanted a little color in there so I just took a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it and um, put some of our pap papaya on it to give it some color and we're going to use um, Find Your True North. And we're going to do it at a diag diagonal, I think. That would be cute. I wish the arrows would line up to the corners. We'll see. Let's get started. And then if we have time, I'm going to do um, Beaver Falls. Because these were in the spring-summer release that came out in February. And I love this little beaver. I think he's so cute. And I live in the far north, I'm about an hour from Canada, so I'm pretty far north. I, we have beavers in the area here, but I've not seen any on my property. Um, I've seen um, mink and weasels, I think. I'll put a coat of wax on this. Yeah, the wildlife is pretty awesome here, I have to say. Got up this morning and there was a flock of turkeys in the yard. It's mating season for them, so they're busy. And then, of course, we always have our, I don't know, eight to 13 deer in the yard in the morning. I think a train is going by. It kind of rumbles a little bit and that gets the dogs going. Okay, then let's buff this off. So I did take a paper towel and do a little bit of a paper towel press on this too. That's when your paint is really wet. You take a paper towel and just lightly press it and it leaves a little bit of design on the board. My thing is, I like to wax it, and I'm not, I'm not skimpy with my wax either. I like a nice coat of wax on there. I just want this to look a little, a little rustier, rustic, or you know, something like that. That looks pretty good. It feels good. I go by feel a lot. I like the way things feel, and I like the way things sound. I like the soft sound of this clock going over the wood. Call me weird if you like. All right, we'll be using this again later. Let me get a, I have a pleasant cloth right here. So this is a new transfer. I've not used it before. The way I store my transfers is I hang them on shower hooks on a dowel in an armoire in my bedroom. So if I, I like to write this up here, it helps me locate it a little bit quicker. 
Although, in the case of this transfer, I couldn't find it. I looked through every single transfer I have, and that's a few, and I couldn't find it. I thought, oh no, I hope I didn't accidentally throw it away somehow. Um, but no, it was on my desk under some stuff. And you know what? If we cut this apart, we might be able to get those arrows going that, where I want them. So this requires glasses. <clears throat> and what I've started doing is just um, zipping along the line but leaving the backer sheet intact. Um, I found it pretty easy to put my transfers back on it that way. And it keeps the whole transfer intact. Usually it wants to, there we go. I say usually it wants to zip along for me a little bit better. But, um, so where I'm cutting, those are called cut lines. These are our transfer trimmers. They're Teflon coated, and they just do a fabulous job cutting these transfers. So yeah, there's some really, um, really fun, 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 fun summer stuff coming, some patriotic stuff coming. Um, for both um, USA and for Canada, which was nice. Uh, what else? Some beach things, a lot of beach house. Oh my gosh. There's a, a new transfer for a porch leaner that is fantabulous. It has so many different parts to it. It's like 15 transfers in one but it would make a super cute porch leaner also. Got some wood yesterday. I have two porch leaners I can make that I need to just um, prep the wood for it. So I I think I'd like it to point there. It might come down a little bit just so we have room for, let me get these lined up right here. So we have room for, it. I guess when you're doing it diagonally, you can't expect it. That looks pretty good. I just want to make sure, find your, it's going to fit in there, and it is. Okay, look at this on the towel, we'll fuzz that next. So, I went to the catalog for inspiration, and um, let me show you. It's on page 53, I think. There it is. So you can see, um, whoops, get my directions right here. There you go. Um, black and white. Um, there's some skinny little lines in there, so we're going to use, um, what did I do with them? Here they are. These wonderful multi-purpose tools. So uh, this is gonna be black, the arrow's black. The only thing that's white is the mountains and the little um, starburst or sunburst or northern light burst, whatever you want to call them. So maybe we'll start with the white. Get some stir sticks here and stir this up. I realized on my last video I zoomed in because I thought, oh, maybe you'd be able to see better. <laughs> the one thing I wanted you to see, but then I didn't zoom out, and my project was way off screen, almost the whole thing. I was so irritated with myself. Okay. 
Just make sure this is pressed down. I like how coppery that looks. Put some on our squeegee, get these little lines. Don't want to get that border because that needs to be black. And there we go. Oops, got really close to that. Sometimes um, these little projects are kind of uh, misleading because you think, oh, that's an easy one, but this has a lot of little lines to pay attention to, so it can take a little more time than what you may have planned, or what I may have planned. Super windy here today. Put your extra back in your jar for another day. Okay, now let's get our black. We'll use this for a little line just so we can steer clear of the white bursts. Let me stir this up really quick. Also got a little piece of wax on there. Okay, I'm gonna just carefully get in here. If you were concerned about um, going over, you could tape off parts of this and just do it in sections. Make sure my head's not in your way. I've been known to let you view my head more than I want. All that lettering in here we're going to do that all black so I'll just squish that paste off into it oh we we're going to do the mountains white oh well Black Mountains. And this is these are both the new creamy dreamy formula, so you do have a little more time to work, which is really nice. I'll 
shoot, I went over that a little bit too. Darn it. That's why it's important to have these small tools and then sometimes you still go where you don't want to go. Okay, now I'm going to get a squeegee and just clean up the lines in here. So we get a nice smooth coverage. That's the beauty of this is that silk screen in there. It lays that paste down. Once it's pushed through, it just lays it down so nice and smooth. Okay, let's pull this up. I'll pull it up here a little bit closer so you can see. It looks good. I got a little bit. What's that? There. Done. Didn't that come out cute? Okay, now we need to, we're going to put the next piece on it. Let me wash this really quick. Even though we waxed and fuzzed, that still really pulled on this transfer when I was pulling it up. So those are steps I don't I don't skip when I'm working on wood. And these little tiny fine lines in the um, sunburst, really make sure you're getting that uh, washing that paste out of there. It likes to stick in there sometimes. Hang this over here to dry. Find a towel. And let's dry that before we try to do anything else to it. Let's find our find your. Done with the white for now. I think that looks good. Let me wash this little tag here. I think the finer the font, uh, the darker the color you would like is you want to use um, if you want it to really pop, show up. over there to dry. I'll dry my hands and we'll dry this. There we go. That looks good. 
I like it. I like that uh, papaya on there, the orange on there. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. And now we're going to move on to... <clears throat> beaver holes. Let me put these in here to soak. Might need to wipe them off and use them. Isn't he cute? My daughter and her husband have a, a place in far northern California and they have a, a river on it lucky ducks and they actually have a there's a, a protected beaver habitat which is kind of fun We're gonna to need to wax our board too because it was pretty rough. This is a um, this is a board. I'll show you in just a second. I got it at one of the big craft stores, and I just painted it um, with the um, gray and black chalk paste that I have. But you can see it's kind of you know it's kind of similar to like our double sided. So I didn't paint this side, but you could, you know, that's kind of framed looking. I would sand it a little bit better. It's got some rough edges in there, but you could, you could use it as a double-sided surface. So that's kind of fun. So let's fuzz this. waiting I, I have um, been waiting to do this transfer I really just really like it first time I saw it I thought because mm, I love all these I love all the woodland animals transfers I wish we had more of them Did I stick that together? No, nope, got lucky there. All right. I have kind of a lodge theme in my front bathroom, so this will be cute in there. All right, I'm gonna leave that sticky side up. Look at our surface and get our wax going here. This one's gonna, it's pretty, feels gritty. So we're gonna put some nice wax on it. You can hear it. The wax will smooth that out. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the wax does two things. It protects my transfer from picking up any splinters in the wood. Um, protects the transfer for picking up the paint that I've put down. And also, if I made if I make a mistake that I don't, I want to uh, remove it. It comes up a lot easier if you put your wax down. Like a lot of the boards, um, especially the chalk couture boards, the surfaces. When I wax them, I can reuse them. I take them to the sink and use the board eraser and wash them off. So I'm a big proponent for waxing. Let's see if that how that feels. It almost looks like there's a
There is. I think there's a hair stuck to that. Maybe not. I don't know. Looked like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Our pollen count is really high here today, too. I need a sip of this tea. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry about that. Choking. as I normally like for it to be, but I did put a lot of wax on there, so I think I'll just see. <coughs> um, I might try just a little bit more, one more coat. Let's see if I can smooth this out a little bit here. <coughs> It'll probably be fine. I've learned I can't have a lot of the cute little signs I've made like our spinning bistro board on my table because it rattles and shakes when I'm doing this. All right, we'll say that's good and we're gonna go with that. So let's look at our catalog again. And <clears throat> we're gonna follow this along. My board's a little bit darker than theirs, but they use black. I mean, we could use, we could put a little bit of um, bark in him too, do multicolor, but the tail and the tree is black. And this is, um, um, I didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's pesto. It could, it could be the uh, shimmer olive too, though. Kind of looks like that. And then this is probably the papaya like I used <clears throat> to color the other board with. So we're gonna go with those colors. I'm gonna transfer down here. Let's try and get them lined up evenly. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Spread them down. So this little frame around it is, um, it's in black. So we'll follow that. And then pesto, and then we'll do this <clears throat> established 1867 in papaya. So I'm gonna put that there to remind me so I don't go over it. <clears throat> and we will start with the pesto. I stirred my paste up before. So this is not the new formula, so we have to be conscious of our drying time. Um, this one is a little foamy, so I hope it, I hope it covers for us. Almost put that stir stick in my tea. I might, um, I might start with the black, actually. <clears throat> and get that border down because that pesto is going to dry pretty quick on us. And I think I'll be okay with a, a mini squeegee if I go away from the to go both ways to make sure it gets covered though. Oops, that was close. I'm 
okay with the tree getting in there. I want to keep it on my We might put some brown on that beaver. We'll just do all of our black fur since it's <clears throat> it takes longer to dry for us. Get that little slapper tail. I'll do the black and then we'll maybe go over him with a little bit of bark. Give him a two-tone look. Get those lines out of there. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> now let's put a little dab of bark in here. Now let us use our black squeegee and Kind of get that in there. I don't know if that'll really show up or not, but it'll tone it a little bit, I think. Okay, we're gonna say he's good. Next, we'll do our pesto beaver balls. Going through the squeegees. <clears throat> Get a couple more out here. Lodge. I think this is little lines in green too. Let's creep up our extra. 
pretty good. And now we just have the little tiny <clears throat> this one. We'll use this little tiny squeegee. This is a, a mini squeegee cut in half. I hope that was it is papaya. I'm thinking, oh boy, that looks like orange peel. Okay, we're good there. Let's pull this little fella up. Well, we need to get a better coverage on that block for some reason it didn't go through. <clears throat> Let's see if we can hurry up and do that. See if that helped. Not really. <clears throat> I might have had too much wax on it. I don't know. I'm going to pull this up. The beaver looks really good. And then I'm going to lay it back down and go over the black lines up there. We'll come back down to those after we do these up here. <clears throat> I'm going to lay this down very carefully. And really push that paste through there. Push your transfer back down. Really pushing it through. All right, let's see if that helped. Well, I got black paste everywhere. Hmm. Maybe that screen is clogged now. I don't know. I might have to wash this transfer and do it over. Go through there. doesn't want to do it. Well, that's kind of, I like it, but I need to fix that up there. Let me see if I can wash this real quick in this water here, and then we'll dry this transfer and see if we can lay it down again. I think a couple of things, I might have got too much wax on the board because I did really wax it. The paste isn't wanting to adhere. Or the, um, somehow the paste dried in my screen, that, those fine lines. Remember I told you, you gotta clean those out really good. Let's see if we can take care of that though. I don't know. But one good thing is I put a lot of wax down. I'd probably be able just to wash this whole design off if I so chose. My water is so black. I don't know if I'm going to get this transfer clean in here. I might have to clean it on this towel here. Let's try doing this. Let me 
find my towel and move stuff over. Here it is. This pacelet is bugging me, so that's going in the trash. You're supposed to save those, but that one is a real mess. Just close these up really quick. idea of it we just got to get it to cooperate with us okay I'm gonna scoot this over I'm gonna show you how you can do this if you don't have a can of water take your um, board eraser and your and use your spray mister and spray it in there you will have to if you do this a lot, you have to wash. You need to wash your um, fuzzing mat, fuzzing cloth. Let's see if we can get those. This little beaver has so many fine lines in it. So it's easy for that paste to get trapped in there. That looks pretty clean on those lines. I think it's ideal if you, um, you know, are closer to a, a sink with running water when you're working, like in the kitchen, or you know, if your craft room has a sink, that's ideal. But um, you try to improvise because you do want to clean, especially using this new paste. Um, the, oh shoot. There goes my light. It's only good. I don't know. Something's wrong with that light. Let me turn the other one on and see if I can open the window a little bit wider. Sorry, it's gonna it's a little bit darker now. But I think we did pretty good getting this guy cleaned up here. Let me hold him up. Yeah, the silk screen looks really good. Alright, and this is gonna go on the wash. And then I'm gonna take our little drying tool and I'm gonna dry our transfer. That's one of the nice things about this, this drying tool. See the heat set tool. Heat. cloth and fuzz them again. Don't stick together. Don't stick together. There we go. It gets sticky right away. There's some pigment left on the front of it, but that doesn't hurt your transfer.
It's just that the um, paste has a little bit darker pigment, this new formula. I like the way the Beaver's Falls Lodge came out and the beaver came out really good. I'm gonna get done just in time. I gotta I get to go get my hair cut today finally. I put it off a couple weeks ago. Make sure this is fussed really good. I don't want it to pull up our new paste that we just put down. That feels pretty good. Let's just make sure this is dry. That feels dry. I don't know if it's gonna lay down on that because it feels kind of raised. Should really sand it off a little bit, I guess, but I don't think I'm going to. Let's just see if we can line this little guy up here again. Oh, he's going to be tough. Tough getting those um, really narrow lines lined up. I don't know. That does not feel right. Let's do it this way. Maybe if we get these crisscrosses. That looks good down there. Just not feeling it. That looks pretty good. Let's try that and see. Just want to do that. Outer line. I don't know. If not, you know what? I might have to just um, wash it off and um, see if I can wash off the outer line. We will see. Make sure it's really pressed down on that line. Okay, fingers crossed. I think I'll do just the top and see how it looks before we go all the way around. Uh, 
That looks better. Okay. That was close to the edge of the board. Get those lines off of there. Okay. Let's see how we did here. Oh, not so, not so great. I don't know what happened. Well, this will probably be one of those projects that I do over, or I might take a paintbrush and just paint it black in there. We could do that too, that would work. Darn you, Beaver Falls Lodge. Clean this on that towel we had. is that you know what some days are really great for crafting and even though I don't really particularly like the way this project came out I still had fun doing it and I used very little paste and I can go over it again so there we go I got the majority of that out let's bring it back now and I'll take this to the sink when I'm done to give it a really good wash. This does pretty good, I have to say. And leave it at that right there. So, close this up. is going to go to the sink and get really washed well but we can put oopsie we put our other little true north sign back on her on its little backer sheet This is all dried. You just stick it back on the shiny side of your backer sheet. And I store it back in the cellophane package that it came in. Ready to go for next time. There we go. 
And where's our other little sign? Here it is. So this was how I envisioned it. I think they, I think, I like, I really like the colors and how this one came out. I'm not so happy. Not so happy here. But I might take a paintbrush, like I said, and just kind of paint that in and see if I can fill it in and then I don't have to remove the whole thing. So uh, let's go up here. So that's the live for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have questions, I'll let you know what I decide to do with this um, tomorrow when I um, show up. So that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day and we'll chop again soon.